Caleb Love is one out of three five-star commits in UNC's top-ranked recruiting class. The play of this year's North Carolina team has been very disappointing to say the least. And with Cole Anthony likely to declare for the 2020 draft, Caleb will be thrown into the fire immediately to help turn things around. Considered a top five point guard on every major recruiting platform, Caleb Love fits the mold of the new era of lead guards that not only create for others, but can also take over a game offensively. His style of play is very smooth and under control. Caleb just makes the game look so effortless sometimes, which is exactly what you want from a starting point guard. He has all the potential in the world to one day join the list of point guards who have had a great career at North Carolina. Let's take a further look at Caleb's game in this breakdown. Caleb's ability to get in the lane and convert at the rim is exceptional for a point guard prospect. He's a fluid athlete, not overly explosive off the dribble, but he's very shifty and skilled with the ball in his hands. He has a tight handle using crossovers and hesitation moves very effectively. Caleb stands at 6'3 and weighs around 180 pounds, really good size for his position and he uses his body well to finish through contact. I like how he keeps his composure when attacking off the dribble. He's usually under control and always balanced in traffic. He already has a consistent floater game and he's comfortable making difficult runners high off the square. Caleb's talents as a driver won't go to waste at the next level and I expect UNC to use him a lot for dribble penetration. Caleb does a solid job creating his own shot off the dribble. Creating space from your defender is key when it comes to off the dribble shooting and Caleb excels at that using snatch dribbles and combo moves one on one. His shooting stroke is very smooth, he shoots in one motion, and his quick release makes it easy for Caleb to get his shot off in most situations. His mid-range game is coming along nicely, specifically when it comes to picking his spots on the floor. The potential is there for Caleb to become a lethal threat from the perimeter, he just needs to remain confident in his shooting ability and continue to put in a lot of work in the gym. Caleb is a score-first point guard that does a good job creating shots for his teammates. His court vision and poise running the show is very impressive for a young guard. Even though he isn't a true point guard in the traditional sense of the word, Caleb has the natural ability to be a solid floor general at the next level. His head is usually up at all times surveying the floor and he's able to make on time and on target passes to his teammates. Now it remains to be seen if he can run a team efficiently at the D1 level, but if given enough opportunity, I could see him developing into a great point guard at UNC. Caleb's 6'9 wingspan makes his potential as a defender through the roof. Right now, his impact on defense is felt the most in the passing lanes. He averaged an impressive two steals per game on the Nike EYBL circuit. Caleb's anticipation and timing to go along with his length will allow him to rack up a lot of steals at the next level. I would really like to see Caleb pick up his intensity as an on-ball defender. This will not only help his team win games, but it will also help improve his stock as a player. Caleb still needs some development as a point guard. The potential is obviously there, but his decision making with the ball in his hands can be questionable at times. He can be very careless with his passes, especially when creating off the dribble. He has a score first mindset, which could be to his detriment sometimes, occasionally getting stripped when forcing drives to the basket. His overall efficiency as a scorer can improve as well. On the EYBL circuit, Caleb averaged 16 points per game on 14 shot attempts, shooting 40% from the field and 30% from three point range. He forces some difficult shots when attacking the basket. He's a good driver, but he occasionally has issues getting around and finishing over longer, more athletic defenders. Shot selection on the perimeter plays a part in his inconsistency from three-point range. Caleb sometimes settles for rushed and contested threes off the dribble. He can also be very streaky throughout the course of a season. He'll have a two-game stretch of lights out shooting, and then the next few games, it seems like he can't buy a bucket from beyond the arc. This is a common theme for a lot of young point guards. Hopefully Caleb will show some consistency from the field at UNC. Well, here's my verdict. Caleb Love has the potential to be a really good point guard at the next level. The weaknesses that he currently has are not major red flags in my opinion. His strengths as a prospect and his natural physical tools should make him an impact player for North Carolina next year. I really like his upside as a point guard on both sides of the ball but how he's developed at the one spot will be crucial for his success at the college level. If he's developed the right way, and more importantly, if he performs well, then without a doubt, I believe Caleb will have success as a pro one day.